Yeah. You know, I'm not going to shout. That's your cue to shout. Yeah. Well, you said no kids should read it. That's why I said yes. That was my point. Thanks for that. For getting yeah. back on track. I did go off. Yeah. So yeah, it's not really for kids uh, as such. But may maybe it is. Maybe they need to see because it's not a. It's basically a, just the past few years of honesty. Highs, lows, twos and fro's, nights out, ups and downs. So it's not a glamorization of anything. It's just, you know, shit that happens. Um, however, they're all about uh, nightclubbing. And I want to read one which I know Jason likes. And I, I think he wanted it on the back of the book, but I, I said no, because there's only a few in there that are on this theme. And it might have been misleading. Uh, this is about when I took a brief break from London and partying and went and did a bit of soul searching in America. Um, I went around the West Coast and had a great time and uh, went a lot across a lot of the Native American uh, roots and stuff and felt quite inspired to write this piece. They say Alcatraz is dead, but I know it's still alive. Deep inside the darkest cave, it hides its long lost face with tribal war paint and crowns of feathered arrows shoot the dark truth into the loving skies constant barrage of bullshit the buffalo is coming he runs forever with the wild boar chasing the dollar the white man brought more 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 he said i will not stop until they're dead and even then i'll adorn their head with ralph Lauren and football shirt it hurts to see this empire state believe that greatness is to take everything they can in an attempt to supersize this land man only man has tried to sell the earth and sell our mothers too and then expect them to give birth to you. Who? You. Me. The biggest lie. To say that we are civilized. And then watch the planet die. It's madness. Madness I see. Madness I speak. Madness I bleed. Over vast ancient seas and forgotten wastelands with lighter in hand and cigarette lips. I kiss goodbye to old ships from the past and laugh out loud hysterically as strange formations of circles and sand. This is the land of the free, the American dream. Stonewashed Levi jeans ripped at the knees, torn at the seams or so it seems the seeds they planted have sprouted, eagle wings and star spangled bling in McDonald eyes, a dollar alive just don't ask why, an Indian's tear made the desert cry and the president scream, I'm alive, I'm alive! But do they wish I was dead in the water of Hispaniola? Thank you. Couple more? Yeah. 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 Alright, cool. <laughs> selling your book, you know. What's that? We're selling your book, you know. Am I? Oh yeah. I'm selling myself, man. <laughs> 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 no. Uh, you should sell yourself. Take your clothes off to be so. What happened there? Where's the jacket gone? Uh, yeah, I don't know what happened there. Yeah, velvet's so, so last season. That's why I took it off. And leopard print is too. Apparently it's snakeskin now. I need some snakeskin. Um, not real stuff, fake stuff, cheap shit from Primark. No, not from Primark. Don't go to Primark! But we're skinned, we've got to go to Primark. It's just, you can't win. I quit! Okay. Um, let's, what's that? Charity shops. Charity shops! These are from charity shops. These are Doc Martins from a genuine charity shop for a tenner. There we go. Right. Let's do, um, <clears throat> let's do this one. Gurning in a portaloo reminded me of you. The smell of vomit, shit, and piss gave me flashbacks of a kiss from your MDMA lips. 
I wish we could have stuck together. But I know that night is lost forever. We'll never see each other again. If we did, there's no guarantee it would be the same. People change. Skin and lips must age, but a kiss will always remain the same. Locked in a secret compartment in my brain to relive again and again and again and again and again and again. On those lonely Friday nights, or gloomy Tuesday afternoons. All I have to do is close my eyes and think of you. You're my dream beneath the sheets. The memory I'll always keep. You'll never stray or cheat. Say you'll marry me then get cold feet. We'll never get bored. We'll fall out of love and get divorced. You're my secret in a drawer. The music through my floorboards. Holy vagina, source of life. Holy vagina, the pain and strife, in which this life I'll never truly know how to raise a boy and watch him grow into a so-called man of sorts. But not the sort you ever thought you'd raise and put upon this shame and guilt the boy doth feel like. Drowning hopelessly in lust. And sinking in the greatest sin. Letting you become a memory. We abuse the body to free our mind. All the while the soul declines to take any action of any kind. Hearted attempts at love is lost inside the eternal dream. Pain is so honest. In a world full of lies, how did I become the jealous guy? How did I become the paranoid, insecure fuckwit, wading through an endless sea of shit, waiting for a giant clit to G shock me into existence and stop these self indulgent visions from devouring me slowly? Oh, holy. Oh, holy shit, I'm done with it. Thank you.